Hey YouTube, it's your girl Tremaine, just coming at you with another video. Um, hopefully all is well with you all, all is well with me. And uh, first off, I think I'm going to change how I do my videos. So as you can hear, I have music in the background. Um, and it will be the video song of the day. So the video song of the day today is Rick Ross and Wale Dice Pineapples. One of my favorite songs that's on the radio now. Um, and hopefully you guys can go to iTunes, uh, whatever downloader you use, and just make sure you download that. Support uh, Maybach Music. I love Maybach Music. Um, I don't know if it's just the music because, you know, the beats get me going, maybe because I like Rick Ross, maybe because I love Wale, and I just love Meek Mill's voice, so maybe it's that. Alright, so today we're going to um, basically talk about the brooch bouquets. So this is an update of um, basically how my brooch bouquet looks because originally from my other video which you probably um, have seen if you haven't seen make sure you go back and look at that video basically it's three step video of how I did my uh, brooch bouquet. So originally it had brown ribbon and orange ribbon around it and the ribbon um, it was actually this ribbon, which is a mega thick satin ribbon, and it is a orange ribbon that we got from Michaels, because you know Michaels is getting all our money for this project. <laughs> I wish I had a sponsor, because they could sponsor us, because we've been doing a lot and getting a lot of stuff from Michaels. But anywho, <laughs> remember DJ used to say that on... No, who used to say that? Oh, on um, my wife and kids, Little Franklin. Anywho, I used to think that was so funny. Okay, so basically, um, here's my brooch bouquet. I know you guys have seen this a couple of times. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> I gotta cut that. Let me cut that now. That hurt. I do not need her fussing and cussing at me. Because she done poked herself. On the day of the wedding, or somebody who want to touch this poke themselves. All right, so that's handled. I think no, I think that made it worse. Okay, so this is my final brooch bouquet. Now, the final result. Now, the only thing is. You might not be able to see it, but in this area right here, because underneath here is still that brown material. Only because if I would have took that off, it would have tore all that green floral tape off of the metal. So I left it on, and this time I didn't use um, soup. I didn't use a hot glue gun. I used this uh, fab fabric glue, and it's in like the gold bottle, and I used that. And it just, I don't know what happened, but hopefully, you know, she'll she'll be okay with that little, because it's only this little area right here that you actually can see it. But I'm, I'm done with this brooch bouquet. Like, I love, you know, doing the brooch bouquets, but it has been a headache because this is the third time. The first one is like, I enjoyed it. I was like, yes, this is what I like. I really, really like this. And now it's like, okay, this is the third time I'm doing it, like. You can't change your mind no more. Like I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so basically, this is the same, um, same brooch bouquet, but at the bottom, at the base, I've actually used uh, stick pins to hold the ribbon together. You know, to give it a little jazzier look too, as well. Um, I just want to suggest to everyone if you do do this, basically what I did was I glued one piece and it is a continuous long strip of ribbon and now what I did was I actually glued one the tip the top of one uh, ribbon and just kind of looped it around looped it around looped it around and looped and pinned looped and pinned looped and pinned and kept going all the way around and um, that's the end result now if you use these push pins please be careful because I have poked myself a couple of times and these actual the push pin which gives it that detail um, of the bouquet I actually stuck 
the pins through and of course you know some of them stayed in some of them came out on the opposite side but if they did come out on the opposite side all I did was um, cut that end so when someone grabs it when she grabs it it's just like okay nothing's there and I can find out I'm okay to grab it and I'm okay to touch it only thing is I have to actually do the closure at the bottom you'll see the cupcake duct tape is still there um, and when I push the pins up at the top I just made sure that I did my hand through the whole bouquet because I can see someone saying oh my god this is so beautiful and touching it and if a pin sticks them you wouldn't hear the end of it <laughs> especially my family so the second thing is I also made a small brooch bouquet for the um, maid of honor so this is her bouquet the only thing I have to do is actually run the the ribbon around here and uh, it'll probably be a little bit bigger because since this is oddly shaped because it wasn't enough bouquet, uh, there wasn't enough brooches, I'll probably put the ribbon down here at the bottom and it'll just loop, 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 loop around. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them at the bottom. I don't know why I always say comments and concerns. I guess I'm so used to being in an office setting. Um... But if you have any questions or comments, please leave them at the bottom. If you just want to say, hey, how you doing? Or, you know, why you always come on here and your hair be sticking on top of your head? You can say that too. Um, just let me know you were here. So, um, talk to you guys soon. And peace.